<clears throat> you can turn that up a little bit. You know, again, it's real simple stuff. Um, <clears throat> you wouldn't want to lay this on a concrete slab because it would start popping and cracking the concrete and then the guy's mad at you or stage. But, you know, you've got to usually insulate this. If I was in a stage, concrete floor, you know, a sound stage, and they want a campfire in there, they're going to dress it out and put sand down and stuff like that so it doesn't look like you're inside. But what you're going to do is before they put that sand down and make it look like the beach, you might put two layers of Fire-X sheetrock. You know what I'm talking about? It's in your garage. It's green. It says Fire-X. It doesn't transmit heat or burn. So I would put a couple layers of that down and um, use that on top of it. Same in a fireplace on a set. If you're building a fireplace in a set, you're going to build a firebox. But to insulate that firebox, you're going to use Fire-X sheetrock, something inexpensive. They make, you know, real high dollar insulating materials, but typically that's not practical to use. All right, let's go to the fire bar. And the fire bar is pretty simple. What I did here, my controller's broken, um, but I'll show you what I've done. You know, the reason for this plate, you know, why all this stuff here is, well, basically I have my ignition, but I have a low fire and a high fire on that thing. So what I could do is I could light it, and keep my flame low, and then throw another switch, bypass the regulator, and go to high flame. You know, relatively simple, and I'll show you how this works. And that's, you know, regulated pressure off of there, small flame, and we could raise and lower it. And then there's another valve that bypasses the regulator, which just gives me tank pressure. And, you know, height-wise, that's all you're going to get vapor-wise out of a tank. But, you know, if you're using it in a shell for some kind of reveal or something, you know, you can puff it and it kind of looks cool. But that's just the kind of stuff. And it's pretty basic control. And if I did this for a while, under this, I'm going to freeze that 20-pound tank. If I just left this on, it would freeze. Right here. Where's the key? <laughs> yeah, right here. There's this end cell. You probably don't want to be quite that close until you get a little more used to it. It's loud. Cavity thumping. Nothing will flash, but boy, did this come close. You're on a one. And uh, the idea, too, is that this is like for a theme park or something like that. You know, if you buy a binary ounce of flash powder, it's about seven bucks. Add a match. Let's call it eight dollars a whack. This is a thousand percent cheaper. It's eight cents a shot. And that's my best guesstimation. We don't really know. Now, I'm going to shoot it five times. It's on the lower setting right now. All right? So, fire and all. You know, we don't have any hearing left. Fire and all. Here we go. you want to choke me. Now, that was the lower setting. I'm just going to bring it up a lot. And like concussion mortars, there's not a real big difference. But you can tell it's a little louder. I'm just going to shoot it like this three times. All right? Fire and all. negative thing with this is that you know you can hear that fill time there's that delay when I hit the button so you have to use something some kind of controller if you wanted to tie this in with another effect now we use this for military training but the other thing we've used this for is if any of you are football fans at all or the Tampa Bay Bucks they built a new pirate ship four or five years ago and that pirate ship the cannon shoot and they wanted boom 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 so they had to have two darn because one is that delay. But what we did is we're using liquid CO2 for the uh, smoke coming out of the cannons. But we're using a computer to drive it so it can use the three-quarter delay and then fire the CO2 and the boom goes. And that's how we control it. Um, it has obviously has other applications. Um, but it's a pretty neat unit. I get $12,000 a piece for them. How many do you want? The military's bought about 30 of them. <laughs> 